Hey y'all, it's your good old pal Julie Moon. I'm um, just saying hey, happy Friday. Hope everybody had a good week. Um, I've been really sick, so if my voice sounds lower than normal, that's why. But it's kind of cool in like a gender bending way. Um, but that's why my voice sounds exceptionally low tonight. Um, just having a quiet night, trying to rest and recoup after a uh, week of being sick. And I was flipping through one of my good old favorite books that I bought a long time ago. Um, it's called The Persistent Desire, a Fembridge Reader. And it's edited by Joan Nestle, or Nestle, I'm not sure how she pronounces it. Um, check it out. I think it was put out probably in the 90s. But it's got um, like kind of uh, fiction and poetry and also some nonfiction pieces and uh, I think I got it at media play and it's from 92 but it's still valid um, it's really great and I just kind of flipping through and I wanted to read a couple of poems to you guys from it so I hope you enjoy it um, the first one is called when butches cry and it's by Bonnie Barringer b-a-r-r-i-n-g-e-r -R -R -E when butches cry when butches cry no mountains quake, no islands form, only to slip into the sea. Nor do trees fall, nor lightning strike, nor any other God done thing. When butches cry, they weep, they wail, they gnash their teeth and moan. Strong woman's pain, it's just the same, except it's mostly done alone. I really like that. I just paints a interesting picture of the butch persona, I guess you could say. Um, another piece I really like from here is kind of quirky. Um, it's by Myrna Alana, E L A N A, and the title is "Define Community" in quotes. This is a test. If my lover had a man's name, and I had to explain that to everyone. If my lover had a penis of her own, and I had to explain. If my lover had a penis from birth, and a woman's name, and I had to explain that to everyone. If my lover had a cunt yet passed as a man, and I had to explain. If my lover wore a dress, but shaved and pissed standing up, and I had to explain that to everyone. If my lover had a cloven hoof and a cunt and a penis, and we went along the horizon line shouting about it, only the people who mattered would be left anywhere near us. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, interesting imagery. Lots of people out there have cloven hooves. Um, Another one by the infamous Pat Khalifa um, is called I Love Butches, which I do. I love butches. The muscles, the short hair, the refusal to pick up where their mothers left off. I especially love the angle of a knee wearing its way out of a faded pair of 501s. Scraping the dirty floor of a dark alley, kneeling in the dark, sucking cunt, my cunt. My fingers can always find a hold in that short hair, even a crew cut. I just twine right down to the roots so I can grab that head and turn it to look at me. Juice smeared and shining across that James Dean jawline. I'm a connoisseur of the practice sneer that says, look out, I'm tough. A butch who has her pose down makes me smile. Darling, I say, sliding through the shadows at her back, how fine you are. I flex my claws, apply them gently to her neck, pick up the fabric over a nipple and slice it open so the teacup sized tip peeks through. I lick the fear off her neck and purr. I really don't care who's butch and who's not, as long as I get to fuck you. I love butches because I'm the woman who takes up where their mothers were afraid to go. 
I can't resist the call of that deep, smoldering anger. The girl boy who can never forgive herself until Mama relents and says, standing in a dark doorway, spraying herself with a perfume atomizer, forget the old man, come to my bed tonight. Butches need my hands, my mouth, my eyes, because I see, I handle, I bestow the heart on, the female phallus, the sweet prick of the androgene, forever erect at the service of women. Understand me, my tricks are butches, not men, not boys, butches. Even if they seem like boys with female parts to you, I know they are women. And I am there for that part of them that needs to be taken out of control, not with contempt, not as competition, but as reassurance, a reminder of the body's truth inside the fantasy. The body that makes all fantasies possible. I am, after all, a lesbian. I lust after beautiful women. And butches are the most beautiful women in the world. I saw that last line because I think it's true. Um, butches rock the house. There's kind of another dirty one here that I'm not going to read. But I love the title. It's by Pat Califia as well. It's called Gender Fuck Gender. Uh, maybe you can look it up somewhere. It's pretty long and there's a lot of dirty words in it. And even though I am a dirty girl, you know, I don't want to rock the boat too much. Um, but check this book out. It's from the 90s, but I bet you can find it in your library. Um, it's pretty cool if you're into the butch femme thing um, or just interested in it and want to read some great stories about what it was like to be a butch in the 50s. Um, lots of stuff about being stone butch. Lots of stuff from the perspective of femmes. And I just really recommend it. I've just never gotten rid of it. I love it. And uh, check it out. The Persistent... Ugh, Julie. The Persistent Desire, a Femme Butch Reader. 1992, copyright. It's put out by Allison Publications. Um, so check that out. God, I don't even know if they're still around. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed my little poetry reading. Have a great weekend. I'm just going to lay low, get better. And uh, I'll be putting up more videos soon. Just felt like sharing some poetry uh, with everybody out there. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of you. Good night.